have made an unexpected and unforgettable decision on Survivor All-Stars. She stunned her Mogo Mogo tribe by becoming only the second player ever to quit the show. Okay. Wait. Due to someone who's very ill at home right now, that's getting worse. I need to pull myself out of the game and be there. So are you talking about your mom? Yeah. Yeah, she's just not any better, and things have gotten a little worse quickly. And at the end of the show, we learn that Jenna rushed to her mother's side. Eight days later, her mother lost her long battle with cancer. And Jenna Marasco is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm doing okay. That goes all the way back to yeah. November. Yeah. Jeff asked the question in the show last night. Did you, because you don't get messages, you don't get no, mail, there are nothing. no phone calls or nothing. anything. What, what did you know? What did you know in your heart? It was, just, it was just a feeling that I never had before. It was like a premonition. I just felt like I was being pulled out of there. And me and my mom were really close. And it's just, I knew that I had to go with my gut. It mm. was a very hard decision to make, but... Because you had talked with your mom before right. you decided to go. Right. She's a huge fan of Survivor. Huge Survivor And fan. what did she tell you? She was like, go, don't worry about me, everything will be fine. And so I went. I mean, my mom has been dealing with this for 12 years. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. not new for me to live this life. Right. So leaving again was not like I was, I was worried, but I just had to keep going. And she's like, I'll be fine. But with cancer, sometimes you suddenly take a turn. and. Yeah. And that's what happened to her. Because I met your mom. You brought your yeah. mom and dad here six months ago yeah, or so. So wonderful. And I know. she seemed very healthy. Though. Yeah. She, she was a, f a fighter. 12 years is a long, a long battle. Mm. And, you know, she had a, a rough time. And she's, you know, was, she really is the survivor. This is going <laughs> to sound like a goofy question. But was there, was there an event? Was there a moment? Was there a, a, a time when you were there yeah. when you said, I know now for yeah. certainly I have to go home. Well, at the first I thought it was just being homesick because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm you, I, I'll get over this. This happened last time. But then the more and more I was there, the more I felt disconnected. And I just felt like being, I just felt tugged somewhere else. And yeah. then the night that I decided to leave was when we had that horrible rainstorm. And I was like, okay, if this isn't a sign, then nothing else is. It was so you a, felt like it was a literal sign? Yeah, like uh, more than just a feeling. But it was a hard decision to make. I feel like it was the first very adult decision I had to make completely on my own mm. with because you can't normally you have family friends someone to talk to and I had to make it completely on my own it was a huge decision yeah. and you know I did I don't regret my decision to go to the all-stars and I don't regret my decision to come back because immediately then people said well did she go there with a hundred percent commitment right. in the first place right when you went there did you think I'm playing this game right. I'm here to win yeah I mean I love Survivor I went there ready to go into it and ready to win you can't judge how you're going to feel out there. Nobody can in a regular circumstance. You don't know how you're going to react even the second time around. Mm -hmm. And put in all the other circumstances I was dealing with, I had no idea that that would happen. And How did you feel your tribe responded as you started to reveal your feelings? Right. I, I just, I feel so lucky to have been with that tribe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how any of the other tribes would have dealt with it. Probably similar but they were just completely supportive not worried at all about what's gonna happen when you leave well, this is a very um, strong tribe very very strong tribe a very good tribe a lot of good players a lot mm. of people that finished fairly well in the game yeah. and just really they're good players but they also have good hearts so they really did feel for me. Did, was there one person you seemed to confide in more than um, others? I think Kathy and Sheehan yeah. and, and Lex too. Mm -hmm. Though I mean because I love Lex and Kathy was kind of like a mom to me and Sheehan and me kind of connected so 
everybody really helped a lot. Because it was a kind of encouragement for you to go right, home. Right, right. Did you second guess it at all, or did no. you think this is this is sincere, these people no. actually care about I knew it was sincere. Or they just want, well, she's yeah. one of the, let's get her Yeah, let, let's just get somebody gone. Right. Because it's a mercenary game. Exactly. But if you were there, and I think even by watching the episode, which is only an hour, you can feel that these people really did mm -hmm. feel, I mean, even the other two tribes yeah. were... I was surprised to see how, you know, you know, worked up they were about it. You get home, what did your mother say? Well, at that point she wasn't talking. The night that I got home she stopped eating and drinking completely, so it's almost like she was waiting for me and she wasn't speaking, but I kind of like whispered into her ear, I'm home, and she kind of let out like this big sigh, like a big deep breath, and like, you know, she didn't talk at all or speak or kind of wake up after that. She was, was waiting for you to come home? Yeah, I really felt like she was.